All right, y'all. So it's been a little hot mess. I um did some type of update on what's going on around here, you know. So you know, I'm out here this morning, you know, enjoying this good old sun. About to do what I do, you know, get out here and move about, you know, get 30, 40 minutes. You know, just just let the body flow freely, whatever way it wants to move. That's why that's how I let it move. You know, just hey, because when that happens, it's like you know, I'm more in, you know, touch with myself, you know. So I'm gonna do that. But right now, this is you know, our tease, you know, Alessandra. And my tea, you know, I got focus written on her, my own minds, and I think she has awareness on hers, you know. So, you know, hers more the darker one, you know. I think she has a lot more clove and you know raspberry leaf in hers for her tea, you know. This, but this is also, this tea is um, based on uh, you know the purple moss, you know that that stuff right there. Well, man, that I'm telling you that right there, that's what you need to power and build your body up. That stuff, man, just a little bit goes a long way, you know. You don't really need that much, you know, so just eating that, you know, with the fruits and vegetables make, make me feel real good, you know. Mine's more the, you know, the, the moss, the um, sauce has barilla, I think you got a little yellow dog off in it, um, some other stuff, I can't remember what else we put off in it, ginger, a little habanero, you know, just, just, just tiny bit, we didn't put a lot, just tiny bit, because, you know, it doesn't take that much to so easy to simulate, you know, to simulate, you know, digest, simulate, you know. Utilize it. it really doesn't take that much, you know, especially when you focus on the breath game. So, you know, that's a pretty good tea, and that's I mean, it's powerful. So, we got it. You know, we just sit down in the, um, the sun. So, sit out yesterday, I drank a little bit last night. Got the, got the moon to hit it, and the sun is really hitting it. So, I'll probably take some, the, um, you know, and I'm gonna do the massage later on. Day, you know, when I have my first bell around, oh, about I think I got about three, four massages. I had to go on a little break, so maybe about you know, five, six, seven o'clock, you know, when I have my first meal to drink a day, that and. You know, some um, some type of melons and maybe some dates, and, and that's all I probably eat for the day. You know, but yeah, that's a good old tea, and that's stuff. I mean, that's that tea right there. That tea is power. I mean, it's it, it may really you know does you good. You know, so keep me energized. So you know, but yeah, um, I really want to do this because I wanted to show you what just throwing. Listen, when I say just throw your fruit seeds and whatever type of seeds you got out, just throw them out. You don't even have to water the grass, and I'm I'm gonna show you why. I say that, I mean, I'm not saying not watering is the grass is, you know, something that you want to do, you know, but this is more of an experiment. So when I say more of an experiment, I'm going to show you, we just threw some type of melons, we just threw all our fruit seeds out. So like, right now, as you can see, like, you know, we got, I don't know what we got, but we got all types of vines growing all over the place. You see, vines, 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 vines. Now a lot of these are starting, this has been going for like about a month, I think, maybe about a month and a month and a half, now it's been about a good month and a half now. So things are starting to grow. And as you can see, you see all the vines. We haven't watered not one time, you see? We haven't watered not one time. Not one time, y'all, not one time have you watered it, you know? I know what they tell you, you gotta plant your seeds. You can look at those amaranth greens growing right there. I can't wait to those so about to grow. They say you gotta plant your seeds, so you gotta do stuff, and you, I don't know, you hear all types of stuff, but you gotta plant the seeds. And you know, I've been doing this for, you know, this year, I'm going on about a year and a half now doing all this. So you see you guys plant your seeds, you know, you gotta water it, take care of it, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, all we do is just throw the seeds out. So basically I'm gonna show you what we got going on, you know. So I don't know what type of melon this is. Hope those stickers give them out here bed for this always. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got oh you see that? It's one, two, one, two, three, two. two. Uh, let me see what we at, what we at, what we at, what we at. I don't even know how many we got, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, oh, that's another big one right there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, right there, three. Oh, right there, you see my finger, my, this finger, these finger, right? four. Oh yeah, oh, shit, there was another one. Five. I think I, is that another one going on the, no it's not, there's five so far, um, oh we got some going on the vine right there, you see, six, oh another one, I don't know if you can see it, seven, let's see what we at, see if any over here. So we got all these flowers are just, you know, popping out. Man, I don't know what we're doing. Man, this stuff is powerful. You know, if anybody got any type of information or tips, they can help me. You know, I'm all ears. You know, I, I want to keep learning. So just, 
you know, give me that information, you know, and you know me, I don't wait on sign. I make signs follow me, so I don't know. So we're seven. Um, where we at? Where we at? Oh, look at this one. Eight. Oh, look at that one. This baby one. Nine. Oh, look at another one. Ten. I, I probably missed. Oh, look at another one. It started the little baby one. Eleven. Look at that one. Twelve. Ouch. Okay. I seen another one, but it was dying off already. I'm going to another one, so I'm going to count that one. It's 13. Who going to another one right there? 14. Oh, we'll go another one. 15. That's the one that's dying off. So I counted 15 so far, and I probably missed some. So, man, you know, we just enjoying this, man, you know. That's 15 melons, you know. And look, this is just a little small patch. And imagine if a whole entire front yard gets done like this. You see what I'm saying? We haven't even watered none of this stuff yet. We didn't water nothing, you know. You know, we haven't, you know, like in our backyard, we had about 27 butternut squashes growing. You know, we got about two, they pretty much dying off right now. You know, so we just experiment with stuff, man, because in about five to seven years, we just want to have a whole front yard built like this. And, you know, of course, I'm going to learn how to keep it neat right now. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm just kind of going with the flow, you know. And then I have a lot, I, then you know, I can, you know, you know, make the yard look all neat and stuff like that. So right now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. But just imagine if everybody did this. I'm talking about everybody in America. There would be no hunger. And then you got stuff like the, um, the moss. You can let your, your yards grow. Hold on, let me, let me, let me show you something. I was talking about that, um, those amaranth green. Is that one? No, that's not one. But here's some amaranth green, you know, some good stuff right here, man. Some good stuff, you know. Right now, the, the yard, um, the, um, the llama came cut the yard, so I keep the front yard cut. But these, like the, you know, the amaranth greens right here, you know, some good nutrition, good nutrition destroys. It, this right here destroys all GMO crop stuff, like you know, the, the garbage corn you see them growing stuff like that. A lot of GMO stuff is going to destroy. So this is pretty much natural. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going to throw out together with it. So, yeah, man, we just you know having fun. You know, we are enjoying this this journey. Um, you know, we just want to keep learning. Hey, I don't know what's gonna happen, you know. So I just want to just keep eating this stuff, and you know, and you know, I just want to eat it. Throw my seeds back out. So after I eat all these seeds, we're gonna throw the seeds back out in the front yard somewhere, you know. And I don't know, like I said, I'm experimenting. So we're just gonna let the stuff grow and just keep growing. So you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, really, really enjoying this. So you know, yeah. So as I get done making this video, you know, Alison, she's often doing homeschool with the kids. So she's often, I think, they're doing. Some type of French lesson, and they're doing like a lot of um computer stuff and ro robotics. Or I, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing um, um at the moment, but you know, I'm out here just chilling, you know, enjoying the sun. I'm about to get ready to do all my little, you know, like I said, I'm about to go outside in the backyard. You know, I you know, I do everything but neck in the backyard, so you know, um, it just moves my time like 30 40 minutes, you know, just to let the body throw free, you know, free flowing, free flowing, like I'm kind of dancing, but I don't know what I'm doing, but whatever my body say do. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna just 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 let it flow free. You know, have to do that. You know, I probably I probably come in the house, do about a good. I might do about eight to ten sets of bridge push-ups, and what I call my piston piston meals, and that does a good job of just getting the whole body going and flowing. What I'm noticing with doing the piston meal with the bridge push is really open up everything in the front of my body. Especially my core and the way I breathe, you know, that's really open up a whole lot more. But the piston is it's like my hips aren't tight. Well actually they are we all got tight hips. But it's opened up all the tight the tightest from all the years of abuse of playing sports and playing sports every day and just, just beating myself up. I mean after this has been like like a hard brick, you know, over the time I'm just doing like little small movements every day. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, Go on. I'm just doing a little, little small movement, slow to improve so I'm slowly, 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 steady improving. So it's doing a real good job of, you know, opening everything up. Look at that B. No, look at oh, hey, Don't come over here now. You know, go ahead and do your thing. What you do about to do with that fly over there? But it's really doing a good job of um opening everything up, you know. So I, I love those piston squats, you know. So I'm doing those piston squats probably for like another three, another two months, you know. And then I probably go back and to do my pistol squats. The goal is, the reason why I'm doing all these little simple movements, and I'm not really focusing on all my heavy stuff, is, you know, I'm always trying to improve because I want to get the blood flowing all throughout the body. I don't want to have to always get up and have to warm up. So I'm just going to just take my time and do all these, what I call, 
warm up exercises right now just do a whole bunch of reps because I want to get all the blood flow and the stagnation gone and that's what the cold and you know a lot of my, my food are equals I want to keep I want to strengthen all the my circulatory system so the blood flow can keep going I want that heart to get they get strong beat you know so the blood can easily flow you know flow to the feet and the hands you know how that go so I want to I want that good old so I want that what I call that effortless strength you know so I'm kind of, you know, backtrack what I've been doing for the past few years, but I'm learning more and more and more. So I just want to just keep backtracking. And as I keep getting better with all this stuff, you know, the, the, the energy will be effortless. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, no need to, you know, recuperate as much, regenerate. I mean, regeneration should be super easy. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just enjoying this process. Um, I think that's another one. I'm... No, it's not another one. We're going to stop at 15. Just say 15 because it's it's still growing. It's, it's still growing. But yeah, like I say, I just want to just, just keep doing it. Like, just keep doing little movements. And I mean, it really, really does a good job. Man, I mean, it really, you know, man, the ability to move it. I'm, I, I feel like I'm, I, when I tell people I'm almost 40, I really feel like I'm doing a good job of moving like when I was a teen again. You know, like a lot of guys in their 30s and 40s, you know, they, they look good. You know, they cut up. What I call, a lot of them, you know, but what I call, Inflame cut, you know, we ain't gonna talk about that, but anyway, I feel pretty good, you know, so I'm enjoying, you know, I don't want to be like a lot of guys when they get in their 30s and 40, you know, like I said, they look good, but they can't move as they move when they were younger. They might be getting stronger, but the flexibility is gone, but not only the flexibility, the ability to react in certain situations, they can't, you know, react as fast, you know, they might have to say how to speed. But the ability to react, you know, things like that's 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 one thing that you want to learn how to regain. You want to get your reactions back. You want to have reactions like a kid would have all the time. So you don't want to lose that just because you're in your thirties and forties. You're still young. You know, you never know what's going to happen. So you got to, you know, we got to learn to take care of ourselves. So it has to be another way. And the way that's going on in talking this fitness industry now, not not all. I'm just gonna say the mass majority. Is something isn't right. What we're doing is we're building. Strength on top of dysfunction, speed on top of dysfunction, flexibility on top of dysfunction. We got, we got to, you know, we got to. It's, it's something that we're missing. And I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm gonna be the one to find it out, but I mean, I gotta come up with something. I gotta find something out, you know. So, and also, you know, while I'm, you know, mixing all this massage stuff. Oh man, I got so much, so much different massage stuff I've, I've created on the fly with the past year and a half. It's just crazy. I, I love the massage film. I really, really do. But yeah, so like I say, you know this. This is like a good old experiment, you know. I mean, we're not watering nothing, you know. I was like, well, should we water it? I'm like, eh, let's just, let's just see what happens, you know. I mean, it's dying off, but I'm like, maybe we may water it one time, maybe once or twice, you know. I might tell the water tonight, you know, because it's dying off. But I mean, like for the most part, it's it's sitting tough over there. I mean, like, like all the other ones are sitting tough, but this patch right here. That's where, that's where it first started. It's starting to die. So I lose some of vital force. So we got. I'm going to find a way before we can get some good green so we can, you know, build it back up, give his energy back. I got to find, I don't know, you know, I can say I'm new to this. Maybe somebody can help me. But yeah, man, that was just, you know, a little something, you know, what's going, um, let you know what, you know, I've been doing a little bit lately, you know. So the main thing, like I said, is the piston squats and the bridge push-ups. You know, even when I like work out a little bit. Oh, actually, I'm going to go out. I got to sprint today too. I'm going to sprint. Today. I at least try to sprint once, twice a week. So I want to get out and do about three, four sprints too. You know, I do like a, a 40. I do like a 40, a 50, then about like an 80, 90 yard sprint. But when I do them, as I'm always mentioning, I'm doing them everything on the control, pause, on the exhalation of the breath. So when I'm running, you know, after, right before I take off running, I, I take a breath. Not a deep breath, just a inhale, exhale, and I, and I just relax and just go. And then when I'm done, I take a little small breath, inhale, exhale, and that's it. You know, it's like I never, you know, take a, it's, like I, it's like I never missed a breath, so. That's kind of how I do with the sprint. I'm not, when I get there, I'm not taking a, I'm not doing all that. I'm just, you know, you know, so that just takes time to build up too. And that is very powerful, man. That's going to really bring a lot of stagnation in the body too, especially deep into the thigh muscles. I'm talking about, you're going to start to be able to feel each individual muscle fiber. So once you get better at that with the breath control and the sprinting, I mean, over time, months, years and years of doing this, man, it's going to be something nice you know so it's, you know you, we might stumble into some things that we never even thought about something too so the breath control is very 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 powerful you know so that's pretty much about it so i'm gonna i'm gonna let y'all go um you know hope y'all enjoy y'all good day you know have a good day at work whatever y'all do um have fun hey get out and get some sun man and eat your vegetables and your fruits you know stop with all the crazy you know food combined you know um 
you know, stuff like pastas and fruits, pastas and meats, you know, pastas and um, what else people, pastas and whatever, you know, pastas and some type of milk or whatever, you know, you got to have some type of combination, you know, if you're going to eat the pasta, man, eat your pasta, you know, I'm not mad about your pasta, I still eat it, my spill pasta once in a while, but if you're going to do that, eat like some type of um, a fruit with it, like butternut squash or or some type of bit of bit of um vegetable you know some type of bit of vegetable some type of like a seaweed like that. it's going to be easy to assimilate it's going to um, break stuff down you know get something like you know don't 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 do your pasta and your meats i know that's typical in america man, but that stuff is destroying your stomach if you think i'm lying look at all the older people we're going to just talk about the old fit people the old the people who you know that, that they grew up on the pasta and meat they in their 30s and 40s and they all got big guts even the ones who look good that's cut up, they can't move, they stiff. They got all type of issues. You know, it's, it's, it's what they can't do. Because, hey man, that, that stuff is, it takes a, it takes a pound in that gut, man. It takes a pound in that gut and it slows you down big time. So, and as you get older, it breaks you down. So, you know, work on your food combinations, man. If you can't, like my homeboy over there say, man, you know, and just like I say, other people say, yeah, eat one food at a time, man. You know, eat one food at a time. You know, eat one food at a time. You know, don't try to, Mix a hundred different foods, like and I um tea we made. I try not to do. I mean, we did like about four or five different, you know, vegetarian stuff, and I really don't like doing that. But I mean, it's easy to digest it. But it's best if I was to do just like one at a time, you know. Even with that, even that tea, you know, just do one at a time. That's that's even better, you know. So, but you know, we. It, I mean, it's, this is still very beneficial. Trust me. I mean, you drink this, you are gonna be going, man. You are gonna be like, oh my goodness. So. Yeah, I'm going to let y'all get going and, um, you know, y'all be easy, man. Be out.